Hello Summoners and welcome back to another Pro Guides OP Korean Builds video. My name is Kellen and today I'll be covering all of the latest and most OP builds that have been rising in popularity in Korean solo queue. A bunch of you guys have been asking for this video for patch 9.17 and we're finally here to deliver it. There have been a bunch of balance changes and reworks this patch which have definitely shaken up the Korean ladder and we can't wait to share with you what we have in store. Some of the builds you'll see in this video might actually surprise you, so make sure to stay around till the very end. Before we get started, I want you to click the link below and check out our website, ProGuides.com. ProGuides is the best proven way to improve at League of Legends, and we post guide videos like this one every single day. We've been doing a lot more advanced content recently, and I'm sure you won't regret signing up. Also guys, we have this effective coaching feature called InstaPro, which provides instant, on-demand, 24-7 coaching from the best of the best. Trust me guys, you don't want to miss out on this because your friends will be absolutely stunned at how much better you've got at League of Legends. Now with all that being said, let's jump right into the video. Let's start off with top lane. So the first OP Korean build that we'll cover in today's video is going to be for a champion that recently received a gameplay update in 917. Kale has been doing decently in the meta ever since receiving these changes, and a lot of the Korean pro players have been testing the waters with her new playstyle. Instead of the traditional on-hit build, many top laners have been opting to go more of a bursty route instead, with items like Lich Bane and Death Cap. If you weren't aware already, this is mainly due to a couple of changes. First, her Q now refunds 50% of the mana cost for every champion hit, which means that you can pretty much spam this ability in lane. Secondly, her AD ratios have been nerfed by quite a bit during this patch, which means that the majority of Kale players should opt towards the AP route. For runes, you'll want to take Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, and Cutdown, followed by Inspiration Secondary for Boots and Biscuits. As for items, you'll want to start with the Corrupting Potion, into Nashor's Tooth, Berserker's Greaves or Sork Shoes, Lich Bane, Death Cap, and Avoid Staff to top it all off. With this playstyle, you're looking to spam your Q onto the enemy laner and start using the bonus attack speed from Lethal Tempo to smack them down as much as you can. Since Kale does have much higher AP ratios, you'll find that you'll do a surprising amount of burst damage and your opponent will likely underestimate you because they don't play against this build very often. Next up in the top lane is another build for the newly reworked Kale. What I absolutely love about this champion is that she's so versatile and has so many different playstyles. The second build for Kale that we have for you guys is more of a traditional route with a small twist. Since Kale did lose a lot of damage during the late game, the Koreans have been taking Conqueror on her to make up for this deficit. For runes, you'll want Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, and Coup de Grasse, followed by Inspiration Secondary for free boots and Time Warp Tonic. In terms of builds, you'll start with a Corrupting Pot, into Man Immune, then Berserker Greaves, into Nashor's Tooth, Rage Blade, and finish off with a Wit's End. This Kale build is very similar to the pre-mini rework, so that build with the twist with Conqueror has extra burst and true damage. Alright, let's move on to the jungle. So the first jungle build we have for you guys is for a champion who recently received a little bit of a gameplay update. Malphite has been thriving in the meta ever since, and he's one of the sleeper OP picks of the patch. Ever since he received those changes, he's actually become a monster in the jungle, and the Koreans have been abusing him ever since. Out of all the builds we mentioned in this video, by far the most broken one is this one. It's gotten to the point where it has a 56% win rate average in Platinum, Elo, and above, so make sure to abuse this ASAP. For runes, you'll want Predator, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, and Ultimate Hunter, followed by Precision Secondary for Coup de Grasse and Presence of Mind. For items, you'll want to rush Runic Echoes into Sork Shoes or Ionian Boots, Death Cap, Zhonya's, Morello, and Avoid Staff. Every time you use your ultimate in a fight, you're pretty much guaranteed to get a kill since most players won't have the reaction time to flash your ult. After you engage, you'll want to Zhonya's to buy some extra time and wait for your ultimate cooldown so you can use it again. If you didn't know already, Malphite has an 80 second base cooldown at his ultimate for max rank, but combine that with Ultimate Hunter and Presence of Mind, you basically become Earth Mode. Try this out guys, you'll be thanking me later for all the free Next up in our jungle builds, we have something for Gragas. Gragas is actually one of the most popular junglers in Korea, alongside J4, Nidalee, Karthus, and Elise. In patch 9.17, challenger Korean junglers have found a new build for Gragas, which pretty much turns him into an AP Hecarim. For runes, you'll want Predator, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, and Ingenious Hunter, followed by Inspiration Secondary for perfect timing and Cosmic Insight. Now, here's the twist. For items, you'll want to rush a Runic Echoes into Ionian Boots, then Shirelia's into Morellos, Zhonya's, and Avoid Staff. After you pop your Predator, just click your Shirelia's for the extra movement speed and gank any lane you want from any angle you want at lightning speed. On top of that, your ganks are going to be super spammable because of Ingenious Hunter, so it'll be perfect for solo queue. Lastly, in the jungle roll, we have a Korean build for Jax. Jax recently received a buff on his Q, Leap Strike, and now that the cooldown is lower, it's helped his stance as a jungler by quite a lot. A 
Although the buffs were made in 9.16, Jack's jungle has been rising in popularity a lot since 9.17 because the Koreans have discovered a new build path a little bit late. Instead of your traditional PTA or Conqueror Jack's jungle, the players over in the east have been going Hail of Blades instead for the synergy with his W, Ultimate, and Spear of Sojin. For runes, you'll take Hail of Blades, Sudden Impact, Zombie Ward, and Relentless Hunter, followed by Precision Secondary for Triumph and Alacrity. In terms of items, you'll want to rush a Cinder Hulk into Merc Treads, then Spear of Sojin, Steric's Gage, Guardian Angel, and then finish with a Spirit Visage. This build is extremely powerful because you'll literally be Earth Mode after you proc your Sojin passive and then your Hail of Blades. Make sure you work on keeping track of your mana and cooldowns because this build can get a little bit out of hand during team fights. Also, make sure you stretch your wrist because you'll be spamming your abilities like crazy. All right, let's run it down mid. First up, we have a build for a champ who's recently received a gameplay update, Aurelian Soul. In 917, Aesol's playstyle has changed drastically, and he's turned into more of a burst-oriented champion. There are two builds for him this patch, so we want to keep it quick and briefly mention the other one after this. Most of the time, Aurelian Soul players have been taking Phase Rush because their W has a toggle and they needed the extra movement speed to land more stars. However, now that the W only lasts a few seconds, players in Korea have been opting to run Electrocute instead for more Burst. On top of that, they also build more Burst-oriented items such as Luden's Echo to do even more damage. For runes, you'll take Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, and Relentless Hunter, followed by Inspiration for Minion Dematerializer and Time Warp Tonic. For items, you'll start with a Corrupting Pot into Luden's, Sork Shoes, Morello's, Zhonya's, Rylai's Leandries, or a Death Cap and a Void Staff. The playstyle is now quite a bit different than what you're used to, so make sure you try him out in a bunch of normal games before you jump into ranked. The second build for Aesol is actually one that was commonly used a few years ago. Yep, you guessed it, Glacial Augment Aesol is back, and Koreans are loving it. For runes, you'll take Glacial Augment, Boots, Futures Market, and Time Warp Tonic, followed by Domination Second for Ingenious Hunter and Taste of Blood. As for items, you'll go Corrupting Pot, into Hextech GLP, then Sork Shoes, and Twin Shadows, Rylai's, and then a Morello. This Aesol build is the definition of perma slowed. Once you use your twin shadows, you'll E over to your target, then use GLP for an even bigger slow. Once you've done that, you'll activate your W for the Rylai slow, then combo it with an undodgeable Q and R. Next up in the mid lane, we have a brand new build for Echo. Now, Echo mid has always been in the meta recently as a strong counter to champions like Syndra and Zoe. But recently, there's actually been a new build discovered for him. Instead of the usual Electrocute or Dark Harvest, many players have been taking Hail of Blades instead. And no, this wasn't a misclick because numerous amounts of pro players are doing it too. Most notably, Damwon Gaming's star mid laner, Showmaker. He's been using this build a lot and has found decent success with it. For runes, you'll take Hail of Blades, Sudden Impact, Zombie Ward, and Ravenous Hunter, followed by Inspiration Secondary for Time Warp Tonic and Biscuits. For items, you'll want a Corrupting Pot into Protobelt, Lich Bane, Sork Shoes, Zhonya's, Death cap and a void staff. With this build, you're looking to proc your passive very fast and give yourself that extra movement speed for better dueling potential. Most of the time, Korean Echo mains opt to go this route versus melee matchups such as Zed and Talon than the standard route against others. Next up, let's go to the bottom lane. To kick things off with our ADC builds, we're going to mention a bot lane duo that you can try out with your friends. As you probably know already, Zaya and Rakan is one of the strongest duo lanes in the game. However, combine their strength and synergy with double Hail of Blades, and you can pretty much all in the opponent whenever you want. For Zaya, you want Hail of Blades, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, and Ravenous Hunter, followed by Sorcery for Mana Flow Ban and Absolute Focus. For Rakond, you'll want Hail of Blades, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, and Relentless Hunter, and then Sorcery Second for Nimbus Cloak and Absolute Focus. Items will be standard, with Zaya going into Essence Reaver, Berserkers, Rapid Fire Cannon, IE, Phantom Dancer, and then QSS, and Rakond going Moby Boots, Remnant of the Watchers, Redemption, Knight's Vow, Zeke's, and Locket. With the double Hail of Blades and Zaya's W, you'll literally be auto-attacking a million times per second at level 1, so make sure to all in them as soon as possible. If you can, then try to wait in the tri bush and cheese your opponents at level 1 after they finish at least for some easy kills. Now moving on to supports. The first Korean build for supports is going to be Swain. Now we did mention Swain's support in our previous video because he's really good, but we want to mention him again because he's an actually insanely powerful champion in the bottom lane. His play rate has increased significantly since last patch, and he's being played more as a support than mid and top. For runes, you'll go Electrocute, Cheap Shot, Eyeball, and Ravenous, followed by Sorcery Second for Mana Flow Ban and Scorch. Then for items, you'll rush Remnant of the Watchers into Sork Boots, Roa, Zanyas, Leandries, and Morello. Swain works especially well with AD carries who provide hard CC like Ash, Zaya, and Varus, so make sure to try it out with them. Next up in our support list, we have Predator Pike. It should come as no surprise that Pike is already the strongest support in the game right now. His roaming, gold generation, damage, and CC make him super OP and is placed in our S-plus tier every patch. For 9 
917, a lot of players have stopped taking Aftershock on him and instead going for Predator for the extra roam potential. They take Predator, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, and Genius Hunter, followed by Presence of Mind and Legend Tenacity. They'll build Remnant of the Aspect, Moby Boots, Yomu's Duskblade, Edge of Night, and then a Death Dance, and if you like being that 1v9 support who impacts every lane on the map, then this is the build for you. That's going to be it for our new OP Korean builds video. We would love to hear your suggestions on how to make these videos better, so if you have something to add then please comment down below. If you enjoyed watching this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content in the future. Also, make sure to check out ProGuides.com for guides and videos that were made by your favorite pro players such as Hi, BunnyFufu, and Mike Young. We're going to start uploading a lot more content within the coming weeks, so make sure you hit the bell icon to be notified of every upload. That's all for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the Rift.